Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Excited to have Jim Bisley in our studio from Park City Vacation Rentals. Hey, Hello. how you doing? How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah? Yeah. Good. yeah. Are you excited for the big weekend? Yeah. What are you doing? Anything fun? Uh, let's see. Uh, I do have some plans. I'm going to go, I'm probably going to see a little bit of uh, mid uh, Swiss days over Midway. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I'll probably head over for that. Uh, maybe a little bit of the dog stuff uh, over at, uh, at Soldier Hollow. And uh, and maybe uh, Comic Con as well. So I'm gonna try to oh, get all kidding. three. Oh, you're kidding! Oh, you're on it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a busy weekend. I think. What's yeah. your favorite comic book character? Oh, that's a really good call. You ask. Oh, I'm sorry. Why am I asking you're questions? You're interviewing me. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, original Superman. Oh, okay. Probably, I, I would think. say the Hulk. I think I watched him as a when we were kids. Kid. Yes. Frigno. Frigno. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. When we were little, that was he was definitely the guy, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's yours. Okay. So what's your plan? What are you gonna do? We we are doing a bunch of kids stuff, and then we're yeah. going to take some hike. I don't know if you saw, they're changing the leaves. They're just incredible right yeah. now. So it's, it's beautiful just, out there. Yeah. It came, it came fast. Yes. I, I noticed a little underbrush, like, and I mentioned on the show, I'm like, okay, some of the underbrush is changing. And then, boom, all of a sudden it was like all, like half the mountain was colored. Yeah, and, and this like, is early, so I think yeah. it's signs of an early winter. Our tomatoes have already gotten a couple little frosts on them and that sort of thing. Yeah. And, you know, all the changing of the leaves super early, so good yeah. signs. Good signs of a really early winter and a good ski season. Indeed, that's, and that's what it's all about. I mean, we are in a, a vacation area. That's mm -hmm. why we're here. Yep. For uh, ski season and, of course, for biking season, which is kind of coming to an end. Yeah. But talk to me about uh, some of the properties you guys have. You, really uh right now i saw three that are just impressive here yeah we picked up a new silver star so silver star is the community that's all ski in ski out and we have five over in that area we picked up a new uh three bedroom three and a half bath gorgeous gorgeous um, property amazing views you can literally walk out the front door and you face right on the mountain and everything so wow. yeah yeah I like that yeah they're super it's amazing community fantastic restaurants and ski things and everything it's like the hub of, of a lot of cool stuff when people talk about ski and ski out sometimes they use the term loosely yeah and this is not that way no this is for real oh yeah yeah, so yeah. this is uh was this the living room yeah that's the, the silver area? star and you can see these are these are great these sleep uh up to eight guests you know oh, jacuzzis yeah. beautiful and everything you go uh, you just, just go up into that right now oh yeah you go up the elevator and you're actually standing on the ski run at a silver star and the wow. silver star chairlift so uh, super popular community with a lot of our guests and we're happy to say we've now got five homes over or five you know condos and homes in that community so wow. if we have anybody interested in um, ski and ski out in Park City silver star is definitely the place and you can see I'll they're say. super high-end finishes I think most guests are going to just be just amazingly impressed by these properties oh yeah the, the finished quality here is just spectacular yeah uh, and again we get into uh, the fact that a lot of this uh, kind of a uh, a newer more modern feel to, mm -hmm. this is to a couple of these I yeah it's just terrific yeah. Wow, look at that. The fireplace in the bedroom. Oh, yeah. yeah Very this romantic. You bet. I mean, <laughs> has two master suites and then a bunk room, so it's perfect for two families. And, you know, you've got everything you really want in, the, in these properties for sure. Yeah. Put the kiddos in the, in the bunk room together. They'll, they'll get some sleep eventually, but they're also going to have a lot of fun and stories to tell. Absolutely. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. You remember when you were kids and you had those, those trips that you had to talk about in school? Mm -hmm. you know, we, we all went and... We stayed in the bunkhouse, and we all we stayed up all night telling jokes and having fun. Yeah, that's what that's what that's what being a kid's all about, right there. I think now it's more of along the lines of uh, you know what level are you on Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. This one right here is called Deer Lake Village. This oh, is in Lower nice. Deer Valley, and we have a couple beautiful properties here. We have two four yeah. bedroom, three bathroom. They're nearly adjacent to one another. Although these were built in the 80s, most of them have been completely this renovated. Has been yeah, yeah, you can see they changed out the cabinets and the granite and the kitchens. And these are actually a really affordable Deer Valley product, and they can sleep anywhere between 8 and 12 guests. Um, they have the Signature Series shuttle from Deer Valley that comes, that picks you up practically door to door, beautiful patios and hot tubs and everything mm. like that. So I consider this a lower Deer Valley, um, beautiful product, and also really pretty affordable for a really high end luxury feel. Yeah, that's terrific. I like that a lot. A nice spot there. 
Oh, look at yeah, that. Yeah, nice a wolf stove they put in. And put a lot of people around you and have fun. Yeah, and then this is just a couple other communities we have, but this is the Arrowleaf. It's up in Empire Pass. We have several three-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath, ski-in, ski-out condos there. That one right there is our Deer Valley Silver Lake Mansion. That's a five-bedroom, five-bathroom home right in the heart of Silver Lake <coughs> Village. And then we have a couple in the uh, Ironwood community, which is this one right here. These are four bedroom, four and a half bath, gorgeous homes up in uh, Empire Pass right next to Lady Morgan Ski Run. Look at so. all that glass. Yeah. That is a lot of great views. Oh, there. yeah. They're everywhere, incredible. Everywhere you go, you look outside and it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is great stuff, Jim. Yeah. You guys are having fun up. with that part. I, that, is that, it's going to be kind of neat to, you know, to uh, sort of discover some new things uh, and, you know, have some new clientele come into the fold. Yeah. Uh, that must be kind of exciting to go and look at some of those places with, uh, with their owners. Oh, yeah. And you know what's funny is we're having a lot of people who've come to Park City for the first time. And uh, I think the Epic Pass has really helped out a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. You've got a lot of um, people now who can ski, you know, in places in Colorado. Right. And ski in Lake Tahoe. And now I just, I think, I don't know if it's been announced publicly or not, but they've, I think they were buying uh, Whistler or Whistler yeah, they, they and Black Yeah, they announced that last week. Yep. So here now you can ski all these different destinations on one pass and really get to enjoy the entire feel of Park City, Deer Valley, the Canyons Village. It's, it's a pretty cool thing. Yeah, so to go along with a pass like that, you've got to find your accommodations, the places mm -hmm. you would like to go. So, yeah, I bet you get, there's probably a lot of clientele looking for now for new places here in Park City. Yeah, and we've got something for everybody. We have one bedroom, one bath for just uh, single people or even small families, all the way up to our biggest one is eight bedroom, seven bath, and wow. we're uh, picking up a few in the colony and in Deercrest. So anything that you want on any level, we can help provide that. Yeah, and any distance uh, from town, it sounds like. Sure. Really, that's a little ways out, some of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get out to Deercrest, you're a little ways up. That's nice. Yeah. Kind of yeah. get away from the hustle and bustle a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. Get yourself a private chef. The kids can, you know, take their wow. sleds down the ski slopes at night right? it's, it's just so much fun up here that's <laughs> kind of ideal yeah now now i'm want see now i want snow <laughs> you, that's all it took i'm ready like, sledding heck yeah <laughs> i'm all for that how many days do you try to ski a year um I, so i was uh, the magic number was always i had to do at least a minimum 40. wow uh and it's uh, a good year yeah that's not bad and now i'm yeah i'll be lucky if i get 25 30. that's about me too yeah you know and i usually cherry pick them we go in the days right? where there's going about the a very to a powder and yeah which is you know fairly often so it's kind of nice when you live here you get that right you yeah can, you go when it's the very best day to go yeah and if it's not perfect you don't have to <laughs> but i this next year i've got a plan i'm, I'm going to try to go every single day wow yeah that's amazing i'm not going to go all day but i'm going to go every single day for an hour that sounds least. like a perfect workout every day uh, that's what i'm <laughs> kind of thinking like really go and hit it hard yeah for an hour or so wow yeah so that, that'll well, be let me know when you go. I'll try okay. to join you. you wanna, do you want to yeah. do it? Sure. Should you make it a challenge? Every day? I'm not 100% sure. Okay. It's not like the ice bucket challenge Monday or something. Monday through Friday. But, oh, Monday okay. through Friday. All right. You want to do it? Okay. Yeah, I, might, on I might be in with that. Okay, 9, 9.30 every morning, <laughs> okay. you and I. Okay, this is going to be fun. We're gonna, that'll be great. Jim and I are going to get to know each other. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, I, I want to say, Jim, getting to know you so far has been just tremendous. And I think that that uh, speaks volumes about what you guys are doing uh, with the company. Uh, knowing uh, the people and knowing what you're doing, uh, you know, knowing who you're dealing with, a very integral part to the kind of relationship you're talking about here. When you're asking someone to manage your property, because I think I thought about this a long time ago when we were first looking at maybe getting a property up here, and I thought, you know, I don't know if I would want people staying in my place. But the only reason I was worried about that is I just wanted to make sure they were going to take care of it and that they were going to, you know, really not change anything or ruin anything or yeah. whatever and that's you know if you've got a good property manager you don't have to think about that I think it's got to be the most important part I mean great cleaning maintenance right. concierge services I'm friends with every owner and so is our team I mean it really feel like these people have we bonded become friends over the that's years what I'm saying. and we take care of the property just like it was our own we only fill them with the best guests never overfill them just whatever the right. sleeping capacity is in beds provide the guest and the owners you know some great concierge services make it more than just a little you know place where they can stay but a really overall ski or summer experience that makes it super special that's what see that's what i'm saying you got that relationship 
you know you can be trust you know that you we know you we can trust you to take care of it yeah that's awesome we do our best well it's uh, terrific stuff that you're doing jim if people want to get in touch with you and uh want to maybe look at getting their property uh inside park city vacation rentals how do they do that they can go to our website uh, www.parkcityvacationrentals.com and we also have a toll-free number 888-265-3009 if somebody wants to just call me directly my direct line is 435-604-0079 happy to put together a property performa an estimate of rental income that's kind of the most important part know yeah. what you're getting into yeah or just give them tons of great helpful park city information from somebody who's been here a long time I'm happy to help in any way all right thanks as always yeah jim bisley great seeing you park city vacation rentals you saw some of the new ones that they're bringing online yours could be next so if you uh, have a desire to uh, maybe make some money on the other side of the, your vacation rent or your property uh, if you're not staying here all the time well then you might as well make it uh, work for you and you can talk to park city vacation rentals for that lots more coming up here on the mountain morning show right after these messages